how's it going? It's me, Betty Jean. Today I just did a little chatty get ready with me. I played with the Ace Butte, Ace Beauty <laughs> Slice of Paradise palette to create this colorful look. And I also did the colorful makeup tag created by Anya. Her channel will be down below. And other than that, if you want to watch me create this look and listen to me chat about my colorful makeup, preferences, <laughs> then just keep watching. Good morning, good morning. Today I wanted to do a get ready with me, but I also wanted to participate in a tag video because a lot of my favorite small influencers and friends here on YouTube have been doing a lot of tag videos and I want to jump on the train with them and start doing tag videos as well. So I figured I would just do the tag video while doing my get ready with me and... And there we go, multitasking. So this tag I first discovered from my friend Annette and she got the tag from Anya. I will link their channels down below in case you wanna check them out. And this is the colorful makeup tag, so I figured we could do a colorful makeup look while doing the colorful makeup tag. If I don't go over a specific product while putting it on my face, then just know I will link it down below. And I'm not gonna apply primer right now because I applied it before doing my brows. I'm still using that Beauty Bakery wake and bake oil. This is my ColourPop no filter concealer. I haven't been wearing foundation for like a week or so and I've been enjoying it actually. My skin's been behaving pretty well. I mean I have a couple spots here and there but I've kind of been enjoying the fresh facey kind of complexion and I feel like once I have my bronzer and highlight and blush and all that fun stuff on then it all kind of evens out. The first question is when and why did you start using color? I kind of started playing with color as soon as I started getting into makeup so early 2014 ish maybe late 2013 something like that five or so years ago and I gravitated towards color first I really don't know why. I guess I just thought it was more fun. In my mind, I think I just thought, what's the point of spending time to learn how to put something on my face if it doesn't stand out? I've always been kind of a quiet, more reserved person growing up. I was very shy as a kid and as a teenager. I really didn't go out of my way to talk or make myself known. So I feel like when I started kind of gaining some courage to talk more, be a little more outgoing, I just, I don't know, maybe the makeup helped me with that in a way. Because now I can't see myself not standing out in the sense that I'm wearing bright makeup or having bright hair, things like that. So I guess that kind of answers the question, but not really. I hope that, <laughs> hope that does something. What is my favorite color to wear? Hands down, that's going to be yellow but I feel like I also consider yellow a neutral, so as far as a very bright, vivid color, I love wearing greens. Greens are just so much fun, but I also love putting the entire rainbow on my face, so I don't know if I necessarily have a favorite, but I think yellows and greens are definitely what I like to gravitate towards. What is my go-to colorful combination? Well, definitely yellow and green. I love that, like I just said, but I also really enjoy working with primary colors. I've yet to do a look that is red, yellow, and blue, but I gravitate towards those colors just in life a lot. I really enjoy pairing colors together that don't seemingly go together, such as complementary colors like purple and yellow or red and green, things like that. It's harder to do that because you have to be careful about the placement or else it could turn muddy, but I like placing... I don't know, I like doing weird color combinations. I think reds and purples are fun. I think blues and yellows are to die for. I don't know, I like pairing lots of different colors together. Who are your favorite influencers to follow that inspire you color-wise? Let's see, I follow so many people that play with color that I really enjoy. Atlee here on YouTube is one of my favorites. I really enjoy Belle Jordan. Raw Beauty Christie is really good at playing with color. Butte Soup on Instagram does beautiful, beautiful work. That mm, Mitchell guy, m -m 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 Mitchell, I don't know how you're supposed to say his name out loud. He does beautiful, beautiful, colorful work. I, I follow a lot of people for color, but those are the first ones that come to mind. What do your friends and family think of your colorful makeup style? I mean, I imagine that they are supportive. <laughs> I've never had one of my friends or family say something negative about it, so I imagine that they think it's cool or fun, or they at least just don't say anything as they're being supportive. Zane likes that he likes when I do more outlandish, precise looks is what he likes to call it. Sometimes I'll have a look on and my friends will stop me and have me close my eyes so they can see it better. I think everyone's pretty encouraging. Thankfully. I know this is a lot of blush, don't panic. It'll tame down. I love blush. Easily my favorite part of doing my makeup. And it takes the least amount of time, but I just love blush. I think it's so cute. Is there a color that you're looking for a perfect formula with? 
That is a really good question, actually. I'm not sure. I feel like I could probably pick out like all of my favorite colors of the rainbow in my collection, so I want to say no. Hmm. As of right now, I want to say no. I feel like I'm content. Obviously, I'm still going to buy makeup, but I feel like I could be content. I don't think I'm on the hunt for anything specific, but if something comes to mind, I will come back to you. Really quick, I don't think I gave the Jeffree Star Liquid Frost. This is in the shade Frostbite. I don't think I gave it a fair chance. I only tried it once or twice and I didn't love it, but I want to try it again. But I'm going to do it different this time. This time I'm putting it on my hand first. Then I'm going to dip my beauty sponge into my hand and then pounce it on my cheekbone and see if I like that better. So far I like that a million times better. I was going in with it just straight onto the sponge and then onto my face and that was not flying. Oh, I like that so much more. I was doing things all wrong. It's very pigmented though. I probably didn't need to put as much on my hand as I did. Okay, I like this product now, now that I've used it correctly. And I also want to go over that with my ColourPop Over the Moon Super Shock Highlighter because it has a pinkiness to it and we're doing colorful makeup, so pinky highlighter is kind of necessary. Why am I using a brush with this? I don't use a brush with Super Shock Cheeks. I use my sponge. There we go. Oh, I'm getting this Jeffree Star highlight everywhere now. Well, now I've made a mess. I've officially made a mess. Just gonna take a tiny bit more bronzer just to run mostly under this cheek then taking my brush with no extra blush on it just to go over that as well so for my eyes I primed with my Fenty Beauty eye primer and I think I am really enjoying it officially <laughs> and I bought the Ace Beauty Ace Beauty Paradise Collection, I think is what they were called, all four of these cute little palettes, and I'm so excited to play with one of them. Today we're going to play with the Slice of Paradise that looks like this. So colorful, so pretty. I haven't tried any of these palettes yet, so I have no idea what the formula is like. If it's anything like the Grandiose palette from BoxyCharm, I know I'm going to love it. And I don't know what look I'm going to do. Surprise, surprise. I think I want to do purple to green to yellow. I'm going to go in with Honeyberry first. And I'm just using the Lunar Beauty Dual Ended Brush. Would you rather wear a neutral lip color and colorful eyeshadows or colorful lips with neutral eyeshadow for the rest of your life? A hundred percent I would rather wear colorful eyeshadow and neutral lip. I feel like that's typically what I go for. I mean, sometimes it's more of a pinky lip or whatever, but I could definitely live and be happy with just wearing a neutral lip and colorful eyeshadows the rest of my life. However, neutral eyeshadows and colorful lip would bore me to tears. My camera is on the fritz. It's going to die any time now. So we're going to do one eye at a time so that I can do this eye while the camera charges. Just so you guys know. What is your opinion on glitter? Love it or hate it? Why? I love glitter. If you guys know me at all, you know I love glitter. I just think it's so fun. It can take a look to the next level. And it's just amazing. I mean, I'm practically wearing glitter on my face because of how sparkly this highlight is. I just love glitter. It never gets old to me. Just blending this out with a fairly clean blending brush. And then I'm going to go in and take Kiwi, this green one right here. And I'm just taking that on a basic shadow brush. And I'm just popping this in the center of the eye. The very last question is what is your go-to colorful eyeshadow palette at the moment? As of right this second, I would probably say the Morphe James Charles palette just because I just got it and I am really into using it. But so far I'm really, really also enjoying this palette right here. Obviously I only just started dipping into it, but I could easily see this becoming my go-to colorful eyeshadow palette. I love the Creepy Cute from Strobe Cosmetics. It's like a pastel but still vibrant lover's dream. The Zulu from Juvia's Place, the Dragon Child palette from Menagerie Cosmetics. I love so many colorful eyeshadow palettes. I literally don't think I can pick just one. I'm just kind of tapping with my green and purple brush with no additional product, just right where they meet, just to create a, as good of a blend as possible. The last I'm gonna take Daffodil. And this is going all over the inner portion of the eye including my inner corner and right here. And I forgot to put green in my lower lash line. I'll do that in a second. But that's gonna go right in the center. The bottom is just gonna mimic the top. This yellow is pretty. I feel like it's a different kind of yellow than yellows that I have. This one's a little, I don't know, a little more neon. Popping some of this green under here before I forget. All right, so my camera died. All that you missed was I finished blending out my blend. <laughs> 
I was just blending in between the shades. And then I did this eye, and then I popped my liner on. I just used the NYX Epic Ink Liner as per usual. And my lashes are Pinky Rose Cosmetics Out of Sight Lashes. And that's all you missed. I fixed this situation. I just put some powder down, and then I redid my bronzer and my blush. And now I don't have a a fully shiny cheek anymore, which is good. I also popped a little of that over the moon highlighter right in my inner corner, but it's not too crazy. I didn't want like an overpowering highlight. I wanted the yellow to shine through. So far, I really like this palette and I'm excited to keep playing with it. For lips, in the spirit of the would you wear colorful eyeshadow in neutral lips or neutral eyeshadow and colorful lips for the rest of your life, let's just do a nude lip with this very colorful eye lip. I'm gonna be using Pale Baby from Pop Beauty. I've really been liking this formula. They sent a bunch of these lipsticks to me and I can't stop wearing them. This is the full completed look. I hope you like it. I like how it came out. I did my setting spray off camera too because I just didn't record myself doing it. It's just my same old Cover FX Illuminating setting spray. I like how this came out. I feel cute and colorful and now I'm gonna go to work. <laughs> Come home, edit some videos, and that'll be that. I want to hear your answers to these questions. If you have a YouTube channel and you do this tag, just let me know and I can watch it. Other than that, just Let's chat, you know, <laughs> the usual stuff. If you're not already, please hop over to my Instagram and follow me there. It's Butte Bean. I post every single day. And don't forget to subscribe here before you leave. I post every Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Let me know videos you want to see on my channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. Okay, bye.